What's going on everybody? It's Kaiser. I am getting another video in here and who oh boy, it's been a um <laughs> it has been a rough couple of weeks for Disney. It's been a rough couple of months. Hell, it's been even a rough year for Disney. And it's just looking like it's going to get worse. So, yep, woke failure. Disney loses 123 billion dollars in market value in 2022. As shares drop 44%, worst year since 1974. And it just keeps continuing to get worse at the House of Mouse because as we're seeing now, this is uh this is actually just hitting the information out there. So third wave of Disney layoffs commences today. Original estimates, they were originally saying only about 700 people were in the in this current round of uh layoffs. Apparently, that number has since ballooned to 2,500 employees. So, yep, that's a bad. That's a very, very bad. <laughs> and, of course, immediately everybody wants to jump to the conclusion that DeSantis just cost Florida $1 billion, Disney Yanks massive project, and 2,000 jobs amid GOP feud. Well, that would be kind of one argument that you could go with, except for the fact fact that um that just doesn't hold water yep and let's go ahead and actually show you here so there we are Oop, that's the wrong article there we are so this is actually you know straight from walt disney so uh, Disney officially cancels Lake Nona, Florida relocation project. They were relocating an entire office from California to Florida. Only problem was is that most of those employees in California didn't want to move to Florida. Hmm. So they were going to have to, they're already in the middle of a hiring freeze and they're going to have to restaff all those positions that they can't move from one location to another. So the whole thing about saying that there's like, oh, like you know, 2000 jobs and, you know, this one giant, like, $1 billion construction project, you know, it's all the, it's all the Flo Florida Governor Rod DeSantis's fault. No, 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 it's not, that's not the case. They literally could not do it. They couldn't pull it off because they knew that they were going to have a lot of problems. They were not going to be able to get people to relocate. Most of their issue was de decidedly on the fact that they needed all these employees to relocate. So, a uh, little couple of updates have been added since this was posted. But yeah, Disney announces the po announced the possibility of Lake Nona campus nearly two years ago. Nothing ever came of the project. The state was unsure whether it would come to fruition. Given the company's financial straits, mar falling market cap, and declining stock price, it's unsurprising that they would restructure their business operations and cancel unsuccessful ventures. That was a quote from Ron DeSantis himself. So... Yep, Orange County Mayor Jerry L. Demings. It's unfortunate that Disney would not be moving forward with construction of Lake Nona Campus. However, these are the consequences when it isn't an inclusive and collaborative work environment between the state of Florida and the business community. We will continue to work closely with our valued partners at Disney. Okay, so apparently the plans for this whole thing started in 2021 and have, well, since fallen apart because... Well, Disney's not doing so good. And yep, as if you didn't as if you needed more proof that Disney was doing badly. Well, Disney just lost 4 million subscribers on Disney Plus. Yeah. That's um oof. That's maximum oof there. <laughs> and on top of that, they're also purging a lot of content. So Disney removes dozens of series from Disney and Hulu, including Big Shot Willow and Dollface. And yeah, so th here's an entire list of shows that uh, are getting cut. So yeah, looks like all of these are getting cut. Let me make that bigger. So, yeah, it looks like all of these series are and mo movies are all getting cut from Disney Plus and the various other streaming services that are part of Disney. Yep, they're all going bye-bye because, 
Disney is not... It costs money to put these on streaming. And Disney can't afford it right now. And just look at that list. It just keeps going. <laughs> um, and of course, all of this information, all of this is coming on the heels of Disney World closing its pricey Star Wars Galactic themed Star Cruiser hotel experience. Yep, that was the $2 billion hotel hotel that was Star Wars themed costs upwards of 1200 per person and you had a 40 you had like a was it a you know a minimum two day stay so once you started getting family a family of four involved I mean it started ended up being somewhere in the ballpark of like six thousand dollars for a family of four to stay in this cramped, tiny, windowless little hotel room and just be shunted from activity to activity for two days straight. Apparently, you also had to take you had to pay for food and drink while you were there. None of that was included with the package, apparently. And of course, you can't take pictures. Everything has you you, you know you want any kind of pictures or video or anything. You have to pay somebody to do that for you there. And the prices, as we've seen, were exorbitant. So, as of September, the Star Cruiser is closing. And, well, things are looking extremely bad. Because, as of right now, the third round of layoffs has begun. Yep. So... Third way off, wave of layoffs at Disney got underway today, sources tell Deadline. Rising from earlier information, the cuts are estimated to affect more than 2,500 jobs across the board at the company, so we're told now. While parks and resorts remain mainly untouched, the employee pink slipping this week isn't aimed at any particular division. We hear that television, which was hit hard in the second round, is largely spared this time with a small number of layoffs. So, yep. It's continuing the planned it's like original is like the original plan where they're looking to cut five billion dollars. I think it was a five point five. Yeah. Disney revealed in February it expects to realize five point five billion in cost savings. So they're planning to cut five point five billion dollars in everything from content to jobs, all sorts of things. So that means that they're going to be laying off about 7,000 employees. So let's see. It looks like the the second and largest way, which brought the number of estimated positions to 4,000, began at April 24th. The company has said that it expected the third round to start you know, at, at before the start of summer. Yep. Yeah, it is, um, it's not going good over there, folks. And mind you, this all comes on the heels of Disney now being sued by its stockholders for inflating the streaming numbers during its time with Disney+. Plus. So, yeah, when your stockholders are turning on you in the middle of this absolutely just disastrous failure... Things just aren't looking good for you over there. So, obviously, if there's more information, I'll get that out to you guys as soon as possible. But things are not looking good for the House of Mouse right now. And I'm going to be covering it from start to finish. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Hit that notification bell so you know whenever new videos go live. And I will see you all later. Peace out.